So now we're gonna play one of my favorite games out here on the old bird farm called Can I Push It Over? Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and we are all about spring cleaning out here on the farm right now. I have been picking up junk, getting junk hauled off, cleaning up the front yard, making the Old Bird Farm look good again. During the winter months when everything is dead, it looks absolutely terrible out here, but now that everything's growing, it looks better, but that means I need to do some mowing. So on this video, we're gonna do the first mowing of 2024. The yard is overgrown, the sides of the house are overgrown. We need to get on this stuff now. I've already done the ditches out in the front of the yard that I'll show you in just a minute. And then we're gonna hop on the tractor and clean up the rest of it. So if you haven't watched any of my live videos, I'll give you an update real quick. We have been hard at work installing our summer garden here. Got this area all plowed up and mulched. I have several plants in the ground already. Got a little row of marigolds right here. Let's take a look at those real quick. They go on up. I bought a bunch of marigolds and put out all over here on the garden. Got another little marigold right there. We do have some tobacco that we planted right here as a uh, educational thing, kind of a historic plant that would have been grown on old farms. But the bugs had other plans for me. They ate up the tobacco before I could even get any spray on it. Thankfully, I've got a bunch of tobacco seeds and a bunch of tobacco already started, so I can put a little bit more in the ground so we can have that as a nice educational display out here, along with cotton. We're gonna be growing cotton here on the farm this year, which we're also gonna use as an educational display. I've got my cotton permit already too so i can legally grow it got another little marigold right there and i also put cucumbers out here now the bugs did not get a hold to the cucumbers but annie dog did annie dog stepped on it and broke the top of it off so that's a whirlwind update on the garden real quick but let's go out let's focus on the uh, cleaning up that we're doing out here getting ready for spring i've already done the ditches out here on the obf as you can see behind me, my nemesis ditch here that is really hard to mow. I've already done that so far today. And we have the front of the farm done here as well. So got this done, got some down there done. Now we need to jump in here and tackle this front yard. So let's do it. All right, so we got the front yard mowed pretty good. I mean, there still needs to be detail work done out here along the fence lines. Also, you can see some spots that I did not mow intentionally. First of all, I got my trifoliate orange growing here that also has some native plants growing around it as well. Also, this right here is the Old Bird Farm mint patch. We're gonna get that all weeded out. So just the mint are growing there. And it smells like mint out here because I ran over part of it. It's nice, nice aroma in the air at the old bird farm. And dang it, if I didn't miss a spot right there, this old stump is finally breaking up though. So we'll be able to get it out of here pretty soon as it continues to rot. Need to get a weed eater, work around our wagon, which is actually going to be moved. So we'll look at that and need to do the fence line. But for now, we're just doing tractor work. So I'm gonna hop back on and we're gonna hit this area over here.
And so now we're gonna play one of my favorite games out here on the old bird farm called Can I Push It Over? There's a little china berry tree here. I don't know if they have deep root systems or not. The tree's already leaning that way. So, you know, let's just see. Can he push it over? Maybe, maybe not. We push big trees over here at the old bird farm with a little tractor. Let's try it. Tree I didn't want, zero, Robert won. That was surprisingly easy. I can't believe that. I've already got one big china berry tree. I didn't need another one in the front yard. Well, now what am I gonna do with it? Now I got a big tree in the front yard on its side. Maybe we can push it away. I don't know. We'll have to see. There you go. You know, you may be wondering why I took down that china berry tree. It's not because I don't love trees, but china berry trees are invasive and I've already got one big one. So, you know, who needs two? Plus I wanted that additional space for just yardage. That was impressive though. 